All right, doesn't this sound nice? Traveling the world mm -hmm. while supporting yourself with social media posts about your experiences. I have to say, I'm a little jealous about this. See, we do that just on a local level. We do that in Pittsburgh. Well, that's, that's true, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> this is what our next guest does. A guy from Mount Lebanon went to Penn State and now is a citizen of the world, sharing his posts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Chad Udstrom has become a social media hit with more than 139,000 followers of his L. Chad posts and videos. And Chad is back home in Pittsburgh for a few days, and we are so glad to have him with us. And we wanted to, I guess, start off, how did all of this happen? How did you become a viral sensation? Oh, uh, it's, it's a long story. I basically started traveling through South America in 2016, trying to build up my Instagram account. And long story short, I ended up getting contacted from a buddy, and we did the parent, a buddy that, he ended up being a buddy, uh, basically someone that followed me. We drove the Pan American Highway together, doing product shots for random companies. I ended up in Paraguay, which kind of became, became my home away from home. Wow. And just went viral there. It was, it was kind of crazy. The, the video you're showing is about this drink, the national drink yeah, so of, you brought it of with, Paraguay. You said that people carry this around. You'll see f a family of five on a motorcycle, and the dad will be sipping it. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, it's normal. On a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Show us how you serve that. this. This is so interesting. Um, so well, we kind of skipped the main process, which is uh, putting in the yerba and then making sure the straw, the bombilla, Okay. Is, is, you can't move it. That's, that's, it's illegal. You have to sip it first and spit it out. And that's like actually for St. Thomas or Santo Tomas. You're sharing, you're sharing the cup with him. Oh. It's actually called a wampa. Okay. Um, yeah, and then you just drink it. They, they add a lot of herbs to it, lemon, mint. This is raw if you guys want to try it. This is just yerba, yerba mate. Is it, is it good? But then you have to spit it, it is out? Good. Is that what you said? No, I, I no, now, now you can drink it. Oh, now the, we can drink it. The first sip or two, you got to spit it out. But after that, you can drink it like a truck. Is it good? They say I drink it like a truck driver. OK, let yeah, me try so it. Just... I'm going to try it. <laughs> All right, here's a moment in television. <laughs> OK, and we want to show this video because this is kind of like how your account took off, right? This, this parody no, this video? No, this actually came after. The video came after. Yeah. OK. Because it's a slick video. All right, now we have to find out about this <laughs> first, though. What do you think? It kind of tastes like watered down bubble gum. Like a bubble mint gum. Like a mint like a mint gum. Like a mint gum. Okay. All right. Oh, well, and now we have the video. And so this this you were already sort of a sensation on, on social media. Yeah, it's it's really crazy. Like I just I went to the country, it's probably my my seventh seventeenth country I think that I explored in Latin America. And I, I was just blown away by the people. The nicest people I've met anywhere in my life, and they are so welcoming for tourists. And it's just an unknown country that is very seldom explored by travelers. Look how beautiful it looks. It's, they, they have what's called a gringo trail, the gringo trail in South America, which is going to Machu Picchu and going down to Argentina, Chile. Everybody skips over Paraguay. But they shouldn't because it's just a super unique experience. And it's actually a very beautiful country, super laid back. And I just love it. And basically, I started making videos. My buddy was like, you should make YouTube videos since you're already like, popular on Instagram. And I was on TV a lot there. Yeah, and so why? And why? What, they just picked you up because not they, many people they were They traveled? were like blown away that an American loved the country so much. And stayed. Yeah. So now I'm part of this group of guys who do the, do the same thing. There's actually some girls too that do the same thing, ones in uh, Ecuador, but we're called Los Gringos, Los Gringos TV. Yeah. So I'm like the gringo in Paraguay. There's uh, the, the guy that I did the video with, he's the gringo in Argentina, one in Peru and in Mexico. And basically we're trying to be like the link between the average American, which, which we are, and Latin American culture, which I think is very misunderstood. I think, uh, I think most countries kind of get just lumped in as Mexico. Yeah. And they couldn't be more different. Like, There's some, but speaking of Mexico, you're thinking about heading there next. I'm actually going to be in Mexico, yeah, uh, in a week. Wow. Going to Mexico. Are you moving there? Or you're traveling through Mexico. No, we're traveling there. Okay. I'm traveling there with my girlfriend. I, I travel with my girlfriend. She's she's actually a TV host in, in Paraguay. Oh, that's Similar cool. situation, um, morning show, but she kind of, I'm, I'm thinking of the word in Spanish. She she renuncia. Re oh, there she is. Oh, where? Oh, Beautiful right? picture. That's her. That's you Leti. Can't... Oh. Yeah. And so there's sunflowers everywhere around. That's actually in Spain. Yeah, that's so, an awesome picture. Yeah, so we're going to Mexico. We got a wedding of a Pittsburgh buddy from high school who's marrying a Paraguayan girl. So that's going to be interesting. And then we're going to do some publicity for governments in Central America. Well, I love how you're bringing a little bit of Pittsburgh wherever you go. And I feel like no matter what, if somebody leaves Pittsburgh, they do that. And yeah. Yeah, here you are. This. Oh, there we go. That's in Ecuador. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Um, in, in Paraguay, they sell these street foods called lomitos. It's kind of like a cheese, kind of like their version of this cheesesteak. 
And I've actually met a guy from Pittsburgh there who married a Paraguayan girl, and he's like, why don't we start making like Lomito Paraguay like permani sandwiches? Like, Good idea. Selling them on the so street. So many Pittsburgh like, things you can take on the road it's with true. you. Yeah, and I think I think it's a I think it's a hilarious idea. Just like Pittsburghers speaking Spanish. Like when I first started, it was a fairly had a fairly Yinzer accent, I would say. Yeah. And uh, it would be like Como están ustedes? <laughs> well, I, I think I should do a video of Pittsburgh dad that? teaching in <laughs> Spanish. Is Bom that wrong? Vamos a ir downtown para ver el partido de los Steelers. I think that I think sounds be, perfect. I think we should do that. It's Pittsburgh Dad. Can we so, link up, please? So after you're done with your world travels, you come back, you can teach Spanish to some of the kids here in Pittsburgh. Maybe that'll work out. Yeah, for you. and a lot of us actually, we make videos teaching Spanish. Very cool. Yeah, a lot of the time, too. Very neat. Well, there's so many different places people can check you out. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I actually don't you. I, you, I saw you tweet it. I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot I even have a Twitter. There but you go. No, yeah. I, Instagram is definitely the principal okay. social media for me. It's L Chad, E L Chad. And if you so think you're of El, like El the Chapo, Chad? you won't think you won't forget about it. Yeah, okay. I like the Chad. The Chad. Okay. And thanks for bringing the, the, the drink. Oh, yeah. no problem. It's fun. <laughs> All right. Well, up next, we told you about this earlier on PTL. Pink Hair We Care with Izazu Salon. Well, they're offering to pink your hair for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Coming up, we'll see how it looks on Body Diver of Hairpiece Charities and the iHead Cancer Podcast. Stay with us. For